All right, so there's a crisis going on. It's 2025 December. Uh, memory is skyrocket right now. It's unaffordable. Uh, you have an older machine. This is a DDR4 memory, if you see it. Currently right now, we only have eight gigs on it installed, right? Because unfortunately I can't afford any other memory, but I do got plenty of this type of memory, which is the for the laptops, all right? And this is a DDR4 also too, and this is Corsair. And I believe these are eight gigs and this are eight gigs, but do this. Do you see something? It does not fit the actual system. But luckily there is a solution for this kind of type of a uh, scenario. Something that a lot of people are probably gonna start doing now that it's unaffordable. So I'm gonna show you. They invented an actual converter. They do have it for DDR5, but this is a DDR4. Now look at this. You put it in there, just like in the in the laptop. There we goes. You push it forward, and there you have your DDR4 extender. Now, currently, right now, there's only eight gigs, right? And I'm gonna show you that I have eight gigs. Eight gigs of RAMs are showing up. Only eight gigs. This is an eight gig. Uh, we're gonna add more. We do have a secondary that I did purchase. But the thing is that something very critical you gotta know. If this is slower than that, then it's gonna change the balance out right now. We're gonna see the speeds of it, right? Let's see the speeds. All right, if you don't know how to do the speeds, go Control Alt Delete, go to Task Manager. So from CPU, you change it down to memory, all right? Once you do the memory, this is gonna tell you the maximum speed we have, 2400, all right? So this is pretty much the same as my laptop memory I have, all right? So, but if your memory on your laptop is gonna be slower, it's gonna slow down the whole thing. If it's faster, it doesn't increase the other one because just make sure that you have to change it on their BIOS too. But right now, we just wanna increase the memory for more tasks. I'm not really gaming on this machine. If I would be gaming, then I'll be more concerned about that. For right now, 24, that's the speed that Windows gave me. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Just cover the copper, all right? Push it down. Make sure the copper is not showing up. Once it's not showing up, push it back. It clips in there. If you want to remove, add these open apart. It's the same size as if you have a cover of actual memory. And I do have memory so I can show you guys. This is the broken one, if you guys can see it. So size wise let me put it to the bottom if you guys can see it it's about almost the same all right in an angle almost the same and this one has a bulkier one if you guys can see it so uh size wise it's about the same so you are going to have a little bit of space in there and plus this thing sticks up a little bit higher so let's go ahead and set this up right now and see how it works as always we got my lovely assistant here he's always here he wants to come and see the whole thing i'm going to move this here so you can come in and then we're going to set these up. So uh, I know this one, the secondary is going to go here. But I'm going to add A and B first so we can set it up. So see if it could kick in. And of course, just make sure that you're doing it properly. So we're going to see which side is it going to go. So they're going to go opposite way. All right. So we're going to go and set this up the opposite way. It's going to have to go here. All right, we're going to put it down. It clicked in. That's one. Then we're going to set up the other one. All right. All right, we are seated. We set them up already. Let's turn this on, all right? So we're going to crank it up. And we're going to go to our window. See if it even posts. I want to see it. So it might give us an issue or memory changes on the actual BIOS when it pops up. So just keep in mind that you could continue with F1 or F2 if you want to change the BIOS. If you want to go in BIOS and change the speeds of the memory, you, it's set to auto right now. But if you get faster memory or you want overclock, this you could go into BIOS and change those settings. But my recommendation, if you're not familiar, don't mess with it. Keep it as auto. So right now, it looks like it's kicking in right now. It's doing updates. And I'm gonna bring you back in right now to see how it works. I'm just gonna wait for it exactly. I'm not changing anything. You saw me put it in there, directly come over here and see how this works. And it takes a bit, it's taking a little longer than usual. I hope it works because it did post. So I'm excited to see this work because the reason is that memory is getting very expensive. And this is a great option because the laptop memory is inexpensive. Well, it's still expensive, but 
you could find it cheaper in a lot of places. And I know you probably have a laptop sitting in your home collecting dust. And the best thing to do is just maybe, you know, take out the old memory and put it to use. So let's go ahead and go to properties on this one. Close this out so you guys can see. And there it is. 24. 24 gigs of memory. So let's see how fast it is. We're going to go alternate, delete, task manager. There's another way you can do that too. So go open it here. We're going to go to tasks, memory. Right now we're at 24 still. So we didn't lose the speeds. We're at the same type. But like I said, depending on the type of memory you have, you're probably going to see a less or more. Um, but it is working. 24 gigs is more than enough. I like it that we got it growing at least. Uh, we could get even higher if you have more to, you know, more memory. So I am going to go buy some more of those slots, empty them out, and put them back in here so I could reuse them for the older machines. Uh, another great option is that they're not, they're inexpensive. So if you're going to buy these, they don't cost, it's a fractional of a cost of, of these things. So, uh, but it's a great thing to put those extra memories back to use in 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 um, to your computer so right now with the shortage it's a great option to have to just buy those memory sticks and stick them back in here and get them ready to go so uh this is something that i saw somebody do and i didn't think it was going to work but you saw me didn't stop the video installed it click in took a while and here we are so the 24 gigs of memory is a plus from 8 to 24 I hope you guys enjoyed this great video and I hope it helps those people out there are, are trying to look for memory. Don't look for memory, maybe substitution for right now. And when you're ready to actually actually purchase, purchase the memory or when it becomes a cheaper price, then go ahead and pull the trigger on buying the new stuff. But for now, this will keep you going for your graphic designers, your gamers, and anything above that needs it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video.